I literally just got this chat. I got an emergency alert. Severe thunderstorm, thunderstorm warning. Bro, I've never gotten a severe thunderstorm warning emergency alert on my phone before. <laughs> what does this even mean, dude? I've, it looks nasty outside all of a sudden though. Hey chat, if we disconnect, it's not my fault. I'm letting you guys know right now. If we disconnect, I'll just postpone stream till like tonight or something or Monday. How bad could it possibly be? It was so nice like 20 minutes ago. Irene switches, what are those? These are from Melvick Studios. It says emergency alert <laughs> at 12.45 Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Severe thunderstorm warning for oh, this no. mobile coverage. Take cover immediately. Bro, take cover immediately? What do you mean? How bad is this gonna be that I have to take cover, bro? Today is gonna be an interesting stream. We're gonna hope we don't, our stream doesn't die today. Can I just say the box for this is way better than the tenant? Like, don't get me wrong. I love the tenant. It's been really fun to type on. It's a fun keyboard, but like, look at this chat. Tell me right now, tell me right now that this isn't the coolest looking box. Tell me right now, chat. What board is on your desk? Uh, that one there is the, that's a Tofu 60 on my desk. Tofu. Box of the year. It's a long box. It's a moon tower. <laughs> it's a moon tower keyboard. Your streaming is always too early in my country. Finally the right time. Hey, what's going on, Rady? Tofu giveaway when? I actually, you know what? I will buy a tofu and I will do a whole ass giveaway for you guys. All right, let me open this thing up. <sighs> what plate today, chat? A lot of options. PC, FR4, or Palm. What do you guys want to do? We got some foam. Packaging is nice for this too. Hmm. And we got our PCB here too. All right, let's take a look. Let's open up a bit more here. What an interesting PCB. So it looks like we have some LEDs on the top right here. That looks delicate AF. Holy, look at the... <laughs> okay, that's kind of neat looking, I guess. Interesting, interesting. So this is only a 6.25 hot swap, so there's no options for additional things here. It does op, uh, do they offer you? Oh, it's a fixed caps lock actually. So, okay, one thing I will say about the um, capsule so far, not a lot of options on their hot swap unit. Wow, this is gonna be a flexi boy. A lot of flex cuts in the middle too. This is gonna be hella flexi, dude. Super, super flexy. I like how the PCB trace looks. Yeah, me too. It's gonna look super sweet once we build it all up, chat. I don't have to use PE foam today. You guys already understand how this works. Everyone in chat who doesn't know what this is. Um, so this is PE film. This has been, I'd say the addition to quite a lot of keyboards so far. Um, you guys should all pretty much understand how this works. Oh. Chat, do you guys hear that? I guess we're about chat. I'm honestly, I don't know if we're going to finish streaming today because the, the power keeps flickering. So before we even start anything, do we want to try? And the next time the power goes out, I can just try to tether off my phone. Should we continue? Cause I hear the thunder outside. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Let's try it. All right, chat, we'll try it. Oh, anyways, it's just the power. It's Chozo, it's not Rogers. It's, this is what we had on our. Wow, I don't know. Guys, that was wild. Like the wind was crazy. And then all you heard was just booming of thunder and lightning, like just everywhere. Hello again, Maria. Oh my God, this storm was crazy, dude. All right, back to what we were doing, chat. I wanna use one of these two today, but I'm not sure which one I wanna use. Glad you're safe, thank you, thank you. And then we have some other foam here, which we can take a look at later. May use this. All right, let's see what else is in the box. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. Just the keyboard, which I think this looks outstanding, by the way. They put my signature in here too, which is pretty neat. It's actually kind of a nice touch. Very, very nice. Love this color, by the way. 
Look at these curves, chat. Let's take a look from the side here. So this is all rounded, which is really neat. I don't know if it wants to focus, but look at that. Isn't that crazy? Look at that, look at that side profile, chat. Look at this, look at this rounded ball here in the back here, dude. It is not liking focusing on this though. Isn't that a neat side profile, this keyboard? Cream is the new E white. Bro, I will take cream keyboards any day of the week, please. Pretty neat design though, I have to admit. Like that's, that's pretty cool. I like this, uh, this whole like rounded back section here. I don't know why it's not liking this back piece. Uh, is it meant to look retro? I assume that the retro vibe of it is intentional and I'm kind of here for the retro vibe. Do you guys like this like increase in these off-white slash cream slash eggshell colors? I'm enjoying all the cream. Huh? <laughs> I really dig the cream colorway, me too. And we're gonna be using these Irene switches, which I believe have a Gat Ink bottom. Uh, these are from Malvik Studios. And I lube these up with some GS2 because I found these were the best with GS2. I do admit though, the pre-lubed ones, I know some brands are getting better. I think these are from Gatoron. Um, Gatoron still hasn't hit the mark quite yet for the pre-lube stuff. I kind of feel like the FR4 might be the cooler choice here. The FR4 does have flex cuts indeed. I don't think the palm does. Yeah, the palm usually don't have flex cuts because they don't really need them. But I'm kind of down to use this if you guys are. Chat, I'm gonna cry of happiness. I was like, oh God, there's gonna be a lot of uh, gaskets. <laughs> Gasket socks. I love these things, dude. These are the best. No, no, uh, no stupid adhesives. I love the sound of your key call, Alex. Uh, sounds like a, a swarm story from my description, but it sounds good to me. Hey, no worries, dude. I'm happy that you like it. That's the main thing, right? These switches are actually really pretty, by the way. They're super cute. I really like these. Hey, Alex, your mustache is too dense. Can I have them? My, my actually, my mustache isn't that dense compared to other, other men. It's actually wild. I think I missed it, but is your capsule engraved with your logo? Yes. The, uh, I think, I actually didn't know they were gonna do that, but pretty cool that they did. Let's put these on slowly. That's so cool. Yeah, it, it's, this is just far more just easy to assemble. Like in terms of ease, ease of use, much prefer this. Again, Poron is a little different. Poron is a little softer in some cases, depending on the durometer of the plastic you're using. So the hardness of the plastic. Uh, I wouldn't say there's any sound difference with these, to be honest, at least none that I've ever seen. This keyboard kind of reminds me of the grid 650. Really? You're getting grid 650 vibes? Interesting. How does this, what an interesting inside. So there's the foam installed so it doesn't bleed the LEDs. Oh, there's the daughter board. That's kind of neat. That is a very small connector though. Damn. But I guess it doesn't need to be long in this case. So I guess what would be the easiest way to put this on? Kind of looks like flipping this upside down into this, into its sockets here. Looks like the easiest. Why uh, people use Milky Tops on Telios? Or oh, is that like a new, um, is that a new Franken switch people have been up to? I am not a big Franken switch enjoyer. What caps are going on this? I'm pretty positive I'm gonna do EPBT, ABS caps. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad to install at all. That was actually really simple, chat. But, I mean, I'm giving this points over the tenant for building for sure. This is a, such an easier put together. Honestly, it looks, looks beautiful. Oh, okay, this is definitely more, this is cooler. It's a subtle difference. I'm, put, I'm trying to put them as close as possible. This is a little bit more um, on the warm side. This is cooler, but they're both considered, this is considered a warm white on the Tenet, and this is considered a cream or a beige. Okay, we got some, uh, some flex going on here, that's nice. These are a bit translucent, if you guys were wondering. This is EPBT ABS. It's one of their new sets. It's a triple shot set, pretty nice looking. I don't know, I think this is pretty cool looking. 
It's a nice size bezel, nice size frame too, so. Okay, okay. Left of the line USB, in case you're wondering. Okay, so we used mid foam. We're using an FR4 plate. We're using ABS keycaps from PBT fans. We did not put the bottom foam. And this is the capsule. Let's see what this sounds like. Mm. The switches sound fucking amazing. This is a little resonant over here. No PE foam, no. Dude, this, this does sound like a polycarbonate plate. I don't love this space bar. Not gonna, not gonna lie to you guys. This is definitely being car carried by the alphas and maybe it's these switches too. I wonder if it's just the lack of anything. Yeah, the space bar is kind of thin. We can try a GMK one. Uh, how are they compared to Oil Kings? I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with these a little bit more. Do you guys hear a difference? This is my graveyard of switches. <laughs> we'll use a graphite gold switch. This is a long pull switch. A little bit. It's a little bit. It still sounds thin. The space bar still sounds thin. Uh, you know what it also might be? I believe there's a bit of a space underneath the space bar that could resonate a little bit weird. Again, there's no weight on the bottom of this keyboard. The alphas though are really, really, really nice. I've got to admit, really like the alphas. Yeah, the alphas are beautiful. Can't say I'm in love with the mod sounds though. The left ship's not too bad. It is super soft, super comfy. I think typing experience wise, this is something I'd probably use more on the, the regular. I like this way better than the Tenet for typing feel. Um, I just don't, I'm not in love with the sound profile of the modifiers, but it's not terrible though, right? To fix this space bar, we could try a few things. One thing that I've seen help with some like bad space bars that don't sound like incredibly poppy, if that's the sound signature you're going for, um, is to actually put a, a little thin sheet of PE film underneath just the space bar. Another thing you could do is just put a bunch of polyfill underneath the space bar too, like underneath the PCB. Sounds fine to me. It's not awful, but I think some people are probably looking for something like this. But it's not, uh, and again, not my favorite in the world. All right, what I'm gonna do actually is just try the foam that it came with. We will try this first. This didn't really do much chat, which makes me think the polyfill is not going to do much for the space bar. Nah, it didn't do much. It got rid of the resonance for sure, but it still sounds a bit flat. I liked it better without the foam in the bottom. Just, it just really heavily muted the alphas. Yeah. But yeah, there we go, chat. Sorry about the power outage before, cause you know, that happens. Oh, you know what I wanna do before we, we finish today? I have another keyboard I wanna put together with you guys. You guys wanna do one more thing? It's not a full build today. The full build, like the actual build for this will be like next week or something. What a beautiful color this is, chat. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color this is. These are TTC switches. I'm unsure which ones they are though. It has an exploded space bar. All right, this is the 700E. Look at that side profile chat. The 700E, look at this side profile. There's a piece of dust inside the grill, but it has like a little grill. Here's the back. 
these little points here, there's RGB. So those are the screws you can see. Here's the bottom. You know, honestly, this feels a little bit nicer. Like if we're looking at the exploded spacebar, hold on, let me just type a little bit with it. Ooh. It feels a lot nicer to be honest. It does feel a lot natural, like a lot more natural. It's really weird. It's it's not as like, I'm curious. Your hand rests, instead of resting like this, like your thumb having to be up, your hand kind of goes down a little bit. I don't know how to properly describe this. I feel like you kind of have to be in this position, but here you can kind of lean, like bring your thumb back a little bit. I can't wait to actually build this myself too. It's the 700E by Nissan, De Nissan Designs. Nissan, Nissan. Look up this chat. Here. <sighs> there you go. 700E. All right, guys, take care, everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this stream. I love you guys. Um, we'll see you guys literally all next week. I think almost every single day next week. So take care, everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and bye.